Hey, good morning, Believers Fellowship, family, friends, followers. But just glad to come here today on June 16th this morning and just give you a word uh, from uh, the word here in just a moment, but also just to catch up on some things. One Sunday was awesome. Again, praise the Lord. For those who joined us live stream are still sitting at home because of this COVID situation and uh, we're so glad that you're being faithful to join us each and every Sunday. For those of you who are coming now, you experience the blessing of, again, of just getting together and fellowshipping together. If you're just kind of still worried about it, please understand we are making continued efforts with our staging and our seating and people coming in uh, with sanitizers. Encourage them to sanitize as they come in, as they go, to wear a mask if they feel vulnerable or if they might, you know, uh, for whatever reason, don't want to infects you in some regard, but that's still optional. As, as you feel led of the Lord, please follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. That is the most important thing we do in all of our lives is listen to what God has to say to us. Uh, so those of you who uh, perhaps are a little worried about it, if you're in good health and you're not sick and uh, you're, you, if you uh, feel like you might be a little bit nervous still, wear a mask, come be a part of it. Uh, for those of you who are still in that very high part of that, Praise the Lord, even though we're seeing the, a flattening of the curve, they say there's some spikes. But I think a lot of that, the spikes are, uh, it's not in the death, it's in people that, that they say have it. I think some of that is just all this testing that we're having now, millions of people being tested that were not before when they started this whole process of what I call the, the, the scorecard that they show you on TV and try to scare the bejeebers out of you with. So come be a part of what God's doing. In fact, this Wednesday night, tomorrow night, we start back with our midweek services. Uh, they're going to be great. There won't be, uh, there'll be Bible study formats, men, women, uh, youth, children, all separated and doing individual Bible studies in groups. So, uh, spread this out a little bit more, but still gets us back into the word together. So come dive deeper, some really targeted Bible studies that will be helping you from Wednesday night. So join us at seven o'clock. Uh, those won't be online, at least at this point in time, because there's just too many scattered out all over the place. Uh, just uh, what else do I have here? I have a few announcements. Oh, Israel. Uh, we did change our dates from February 2021 just because it was still so close to the COVID outbreak. Can't get what we need from the airlines as far as commitments and everything. So I didn't want to drag this out the last second and plug it in. So I've uh, worked with our agents overseas and uh, we're moving that Israel-Greece trip down to later in 2021 or next year to to November. It'll be like that November 3rd. As soon as we get more information on that, we'll be getting that out to you as well. But just uh, just a brief word to, to hopefully to encourage you today. Uh, we've said it over repeatedly. Uh, this is crazy days we're living in. We all know it. These are times when all kinds of changes are taking place on every format. So uh, I think the most important thing that we can do, uh, and I've said it in recent messages, is one to have a heart that's right to make sure that we as the people of God, that we have repentant hearts. And two is that most importantly, after repentance comes prayer. In fact, part of that is in, is in repentance that we get our hearts right with the Lord so the Lord hears us when we pray. But I was just thinking about, about the value of prayer. Now, don't ever underestimate prayer. All too often, prayer is kind of put on the back burner. Someone once said, you know, it's kind of like sailors who get out the water pumps in the boats when they start leaking. That's like prayer. Well, we don't want to wait to start until the boat starts leaking. In fact, in some situations, the boat's about to go under. And I think a lot of times in difficulty and crisis, we have a tendency to, uh, to pray more than we do. Uh, so certainly it's a time of crisis. Let's pray, not just because it's critical, but you know that the important thing when the disciples asked the Lord Jesus to teach us how to pray in the book of Matthew, you'll see that in Matthew 6, that he talked to them, don't be like the hypocrites. Don't just be pray to be seen uh, by other people. He said, but when you pray, he said, you go to your inner room, go to the closet, find a place to pray where you can be alone and, 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 and say to your father, and then later on in the same chapter, the disciples are talking about praying. He says, well, Jesus said, pray in this manner. And that's when we have the Lord's prayer. He didn't say pray that prayer, but he said, there's an outline. There's, there's a manner you pray. And in that, he referred back to what he said earlier when he's teaching him how to pray. And he said, you get with your father, you know, in your closet. Now he says, pray like this, our father, which art in heaven. So one thing that really pops out from all that is that prayer uh, is it's relational. It's, it's not formula. All right. It's it's not uh, uh, religion and trying to sound right and come up with the right word. It's relational. When I'm talking to my wife, we have a relationship and we speak to one another. We we address each other. I don't say, how art thou wonderful wife of Joe Arms today and go into something like that. It's a relationship that we have. It's the same with your heavenly father. And the beautiful part about your relationship to your heavenly father, you know that your heavenly father loves you. 
And you know that the Heavenly Father cares about your deepest needs. It's the scripture that says, cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. So you can go to him. So I want you to know that in the context of everything going on, remember that God loves you. Remember that God wants to hear from you. Remember that God wants you to speak with him. And he wants to speak to your heart. And he'll do that with his word. He'll do that in your spirit. You just know that the Lord is speaking to you. He's confirming what he said in his word. That you take everything going on right now in your life, whether it's the issues that we're facing uh, in, the, in, in the racial arena or the political arena or the, the pestilence and pandemic arena or just your personal life, that uh, you just remember that God, God cares and God is sovereign and he's listening to you today. So don't pass up the opportunity to, to have relationship with him, to have fellowship with him and have communion. God truly does care about you and God truly wants to meet your deepest needs and to touch and to work in your life. Never sell prayer short, all right? It's the power of God working in our life as we seek God's face and as we pray. So let's continue to pray. Pray for your church, pray for your pastors, your leaders, pray for the ministry teams that are working to get these, these messages out to you and, and the services out to you from the worship teams to, the, to what we call our sound and light teams, our video teams, our technical teams. So let's continue to pray for all those and then pray for our nation. And let's remember to pray for each other. I love you. God bless you. It's just what I want to share with you. It was what was on my heart today. And it won't take a lot of your time, but I do want to remind you, don't let today go by without spending time with God and spending time in prayer. Amen. God bless you and thank you.